everybody. I want to walk through the Hebrew text of Exodus 32, 7 to 14 with you. So then again, we'll read a couple verses. I'm going to read verse 7 in Hebrew to give just to work on our pronunciation. We'll go right back through it. Vai de bar Adonai el Moshe lake raid ki shechet amecha asher he'eleta me'eretz mitzrayim. <clears throat> Let's go back over this. Uh, we have, notice the Vav consecutive and perfect. Again, I'll go over the verbs uh, with you separately, and I'll also break down the verbal analysis with you in the next video. Talk about those things, but for now, this is just reading helps. So we have um, third masculine singular, Vav consecutive and perfect. So we have and the subjects following, Yahweh said, or now Yahweh said, or then Yahweh said, to El Moshe to Moses. Um, now, as the text is written, we have two imperatives in a row. This is an imperative from Halak. Remember, Halak uh, acts as though it's a first noon, and so the noon's dropping off. And this is uh, uh, the um, imperative from Yarad, and this is a first Yod verb, and again, it's a weak uh, fruit, so you'll see, you only see the t two consonants here. This is something like uh, move, go down, key, particle, four. Um, here's the verb. Notice this is a pe'el with virtual doubling. There's no dogesh because of the guttural, the chait. Uh, so this is a pe'el. The signal there is the um, is the ver is the um, vowel pattern. For your people have corrupted, whom. We have a hifio from Allah, whom you brought up from the land of Egypt. And so here we have a prepositional phrase, and Eretz is actually in the bound state. And so Mitzrayim, Egypt, is in the genitive, so it's the land of Egypt. <clears throat> then um, third masculine plural from a middle week verb. This is from Sewer, and they, they have turned aside... My hair. This is an infinitive construct, pe'el, from that actual root. And here it functions essentially adverbally. We'll say more about that. But they have turned aside quickly or hastening. They've turned aside hastening. It's just a verbal idea from the way or the path which I commanded them. This is a first common singular perfect pe'el from sava. It's where the word commandment comes from, with a third masculine plural suffix on it. So which I have commanded them. They made asa, third masculine plural perfect from asa, uh, for themselves, prepositional phrase, egel, uh, this is a segalit noun, it's construct, um, actually, I'll take that back. That's not a construct. That's a um, uh, an adjective, and then this one. This is it's uh, it's mo being modified. No, this no. This is construct. This is a calf of gold, and this is a very strange word. So all this this is a common um, uh, occurrence. This is the word for prostate yourself or bow down. Uh, it's a, I'll, I'll show you on the other videos, this is one's hard to parse. This is a different, it's a hishtafel. Um, uh, it's a very rare binion, but you'll see this enough. But you can see that it has a past narrative on it, a past narrative, and then it has the third masculine plural. So this is, they have prostrated, prostrated themselves to it and sacrificed to it. And they said, so we have a, con a series of sequential Five consecutive imperfects here. They have said, these are your gods, O Israel. Notice this is plural, which is kind of interesting. So there's just one golden calf. This is where the issue comes in exegetically of the relationship between Exodus 32 and the story of King Jeroboam, son of Naboth, in 1 Kings 12. Because there, there's two golden calves. And you'll see the exact same phrase here. So it's almost like this text is written in light of that one. So is it this, these are your gods, O Israel, or this is your God, O Israel, 
who brought you from the land of Egypt. And Yahweh said to Moses, I have seen et ha am ha zay. this is a demonstrative, I have seen this people, and behold, it, meaning referring back to people, is a people of stiff of neck. So this is where the phrase stiff-necked people comes in. We want to analyze this construct chain. I'll try to look at, I'll look at that in a different uh, uh, video, but this would be people of stiff of neck. Verse 10. We've seen this phrase before. This is often like so now or therefore now. And then God gives Moses a command. This is where the text gets interesting if we were going to interpret this. It's a, this is an imperative. This is the hifil imperative from a middle week verb from uh, nuach, nuch. And so this is like leave me be or uh, something like that or cause me to rest. And my anger, let my anger burn. This is a just sieve. Let my anger anger, burn, bait of adversity. This is adversive bait against them. And I will consume them. A coal. This is in perfect first common singular from Kala. So that you can see the um, um, cohorted for, so that there's the root, is there in the middle, the mem is the 3mp suffix, and I will make you, now he's talking directly to Moses, legoi gadol, to a great nation. Again, this is language drawn from Genesis 12, so it's interesting, God has said, these are your people, I'm going to make you into a great nation. Okay, now we're going to get Moses' response. Um, so Moses prayed or entreated, but Pene Adonai Elohav. So Moses entreated the face of Yahweh his God, and he said, Lama, this is an interrogative. Why, Yahweh, will your anger burn against your people? Or for how long will your anger burn against your people, whom, now notice Moses puts it back on God, whom you, second masculine plural, he feel perfect from Yatsah, brought up, from the land of Egypt with great strength and with hand strong, with hand of strong, with a strong hand. Again, so again, so you can see a couple of examples of adjectives going along with here. For what or what will the Egyptians say, saying, with evil he brought them up in order to slay them. So this is now, the, Moses is asking a question, so we're going to let the Egyptians say this. And notice this is a um, third masculine singular perfect hifiel from Yatsa with a thir three and P ending. Here we have a verb with the lamed. That's going to be, this is your call, infinitive construct, to kill them in the mountains and to consume them from upon the face of the earth. Now let's look, go back here. The, here we have a, the conjunction. There's your 3MP. And down the middle of this, we have an infinitive construct, a pe'el, from the root kala, and your third haze will add in a this tav here oftentimes in these. This is a hard one to parse, but we'll look at that again on the, another video. 
So then Moses prays, return or turn, imperative, from the burning of your anger and this is nacham, this is that interesting word for relent or comfort or be sorry or and so Moses is given another pair of and relent from again against the evil for your people. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, your servants, notice the plural, whenever you have like a, either a sere yod or a segol yod between the noun and the pronominal suffix, that's going to make the noun plural. So that your servants, whom, notice the noon, this is your uh, nifal from Shavah, you swore to them, And you said, Alehim, to them, I will multiply at your seed according to the stars of the heavens. So there's a bounds phrase. This is third masculine plural from the words for star. And all this land which I have spoken, I will give to your seed and now we have a perfect just a call perfect and uh, but this is a converted perfect and they will inherit it forever in the last verse so Yahweh relented notice here we have um, this is our nifal from Nacham according to the evil or repented from the evil which he spoke, he said, he spoke to do to his people. All right, that was a little tricky. Um, if you have any questions, you can check in, but again, go kind of move, move uh, word by word. We finally saw some infinitive or some construct chains here or bound phrases. Uh, we saw some unusual verbs, which I will break down. Again, we're going to be trying to analyze these parts of speech too. So uh, in the next video, I will uh, break down the verbs and do a little verbal analysis with you, but hopefully that helps you get through the text. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm Brian Russell, and it's my privilege to be your professor this semester.